is secularism. Secularism means showing due respect to all religions. In a secular state, there is no official religion of the state and it does not discriminate against any religion. All types of religious groups and sects are free to practice the religion of their choice. Everybody is equal before the law and enjoys equal right no matter to what faith, caste, color or creed he or she belongs. The true spirit of secularism protects the citizens against state power as well as against the tyranny of the majority. There is no compulsion or coercion from either the state or the majority or the minority groups to desist from following their own religion. As such, religion is separated from state. India sets an example in following secularism in the true spirit of the word. The Indian constitution has special provisions to ensure secularism in the country. It makes mandatory for the Indian state to ensure the following. That one religious community does not dominate the others. That some members do not dominate other members of one and the same community. That the state does not enforce any particular religion nor takes away the religious freedom of individuals. Accordingly, the Indian state works in various ways to ensure and establish the true spirit of secularism and to prevent any domination and coercion on the part of majority against minorities. To ensure this, the Indian state has taken various steps in this direction. First of all, the Indian state has taken all steps to distance itself from religion. It has no religion of its own nor does it support or coerce any particular religion. All government institutions in India like government offices, law courts, police stations etc are not supposed to display anything which promotes any one religion. Particularly, the government schools cannot promote any religion either in their programs or through any religious celebration. The celebration of any religious festivals within the school premises would be deemed as the violation of the government's policy of treating all religions alike. However, such a rule does not apply to private schools to maintain the religious freedom of various communities residing in different parts of the country. Another strategy adopted by the Indian state is to adopt a strategy of non-interference in the religious practices of different communities. This has been done to give respect to the sentiments of different religious groups.